BSN. Finish first. Brandon Curry Unleashed is brought to you by Nitrix. Maximize your potential. Today on Brandon Curry Unleashed. Classic training is about basically uh, working them to oblivion, make sure you're hitting them from every angle. You know, pump, stretch, maximum contraction. When we discuss the bicep, you gotta realize that you basically have three parts of the bicep that really make up good bicep development. Get the bicep workout in. It's not gonna make you look too big. If anything, it's gonna make you look shapelier, toned, better overall. Bicep training is about basically uh, working them to oblivion, make sure you're hitting them from every angle, you know, pump, stretch, maximum contraction. A lot of times I don't like to rest because, you know, when it comes to filling the blood up, biceps are pretty loose and you stretch the fascia really good. So really when I train arms, pain is the, really what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for like uh, the intensity, I'm not looking at how heavy the movement feels. I'm looking to stimulate and have as much pain in this in this localized area as possible. It's very uncomfortable. I, that's why I didn't like training the arms for a long time because of the actual pain that you feel when they pump and they get really, really tight. So if you're going for that, just keep working through it. Hopefully you'll get the, the gains of your life. When we discuss the bicep, you gotta realize that you basically have three parts that really make up good bicep development. If you see, the bicep is separated into two heads. Long head, short head. Then you have what they call the brachialis, which separates the bias and the tries. When it comes to the movements and separating the two, the hammer curl position typically works more of the long head and you get a lot more brachialis work. But if you even want to go for a lot more brachialis work, you want to use the reverse grip. When it comes to the inner head, a lot of people know how to work that because they look at it all the time. One of the, the main workers of that and, and I really get a lot of attention to the peak is the pose curl. So when you're doing like double bicep shot with the cables, it's great for working the, the inner head and you get a lot of attention in the peak. And when it comes to working the bicep, you know, you can really focus on either contraction, which I call constant tension exercise, or you can focus on exercises that cause more of a stretch, like the incline curl. So you'll see some of my variations and some of my creativity of how I make that happen with my bicep training. Matrix. Get yours now at bodybuilding.com. One of my patent trademark exercises, one of them, um, that doesn't require a piece of equipment that gyms don't necessarily have, is a, is a bicep ladder. It's, it's basically a high volume exercise with four stages done on a Smith machine. Basically what you do is you ascend from a certain level, you ascend four stages. It's oftentimes you can superset biceps and triceps like I often do with tricep and bicep ladders. You talk about a nice full and pumped arm 
It's unbelievable. But basically with the bicep ladder as the tricep ladder, using your body weight to work the movement. Now, if you look at me for a minute, one of the, the things that you have to focus on is not really pulling like it's a back movement, but you want to crank it like it's a bicep movement. So when you do the exercise, if you find yourself pulling or you're pulling it to your chin, then you want to more get it up to your forehead or above the head if you can, depending on how long your arms are. So remember, bicep, not a pull movement. So that's one thing you take into account. I guess one of the bicep secrets, I don't know if it's really a secret, but when it comes to biceps and the tightness, you know, you know, periodic stretching during your training, the bicep training is, I think, pretty good. As long as you're not doing a long, long, long st static stretch, because that does weaken the muscle and pull the filaments apart uh, and weaken your performance during training. As long as it's not too long, no, it's not over a 30 second period, but just, you know, stretching a little bit, 10 seconds dynamically, stretching it, you know, moving through a movement, it kind of, you know, stretches the fascia out, kind of relieves some of the pressure for more blood flow. So uh, it's one of the secrets, I think, to any muscle group if you're trying. I get a lot of female clients who come to me, or even just people who inquire on how to get shapely, toned arms that don't wave when you quit waving. Work the biceps, ladies. Lifting is important to make your muscles stop moving and shaking. You want them tighter. Getting to the gym, finding some dumbbells, and hitting those biceps hard. Is that gonna kill you? This is something you can actually learn from the men in the gym. Whether it be 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever you can curl correctly, get the bicep workout in. It's not gonna make you look too big. If anything, it's gonna make you look shapelier, toned, better overall. Work those arms, girl.